So friend, uh, in previous video, we have uh, created a RBAC custom role using the portal itself. Uh, we have cloned uh, existing role available and we have created a role named contribute. So if you will not view that video, I will put in the li link in the description box. You can just go and check. So here uh, we using, we will use the Azure PowerShell. So for the PowerShell, uh, for, uh, to create the custom role using the PowerShell, you just go to that uh, uh, means uh, portal and download the JSON file. If you have the JSON file available, no need to uh, do anything. Uh, if you don't have, just go to that view and the, uh, the role and the JSON file. You just copy that and paste it to the notepad. Okay. Or you can go to that command and export that export that uh, role and convert it to json file and locate the space uh, means the output location so i have already done that and i have downloaded the file okay so let me rerun that So uh, my file is uh, downloaded. Let me check if the file is available or not. So, so as you can see here, my file is downloaded with the JSON format. So this is the uh, role assignment uh, JSON file I've downloaded. So after that, you just need to modify uh, the action and non-action since we are uh, removing or adding uh, the actionable and non-action item. So you, uh, for that, you just go to that URL and modify accordingly. So here you can see here, uh, there is some JSON file available, it means uh, the access and uh, non-action items is uh, mentioned here over there. You can do it uh, accordingly, okay? So I have already uh, done that. So I'm going to, so first of all, let me delete the previous one. Which we have created using the clone. So just go to that. So I have already modified and placed the file over the C drive. Okay, so I have mentioned the name contributor and have provided the action item this is and the non-action i have removed and ha i have assigned the roles a scope to my resource group which is named sbm so i'm now going to run this command and let me check what will be happen so as you can see here the name contributor is created in the id and the custom and the description is allowed to create support request and the action is mentioned over there okay and the assignable the scope is there in the resource group so let me go to that resource group and refresh and check yeah the contributor is available so uh, this is the second uh, means a step we can create our uh, custom role using the power cell so hope this video is really helpful to you. So please subscribe my channel and like this video. And if you have any query, please uh, mention in the, uh, in the description or you can mention in the comment. I will happy to answer that. Thank you so much.